Hey ya! It's Whimsy and we're back today with a new episode of Mass Effect 3. Today we are going to do the Leviathan DLC because we need to do it. I'm interested in it even. I don't know why I keep putting it off but today is the day we are doing it. Let's go! Let's jump into it. Right, so we have priority Tessia and the Leviathan uh, DLC basically that we can do. So, yeah, we're gonna do the DLC today. Today is the day. Did I talk to everybody? I didn't play yesterday, so I'm a little bit. I, I think I did. Commander. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Hello, Shepard. They work so well together. Like, all their banter and everything, it's so cute, but also they work... They just work really well together. That's awesome, really. Love that. Commander. Okay. I think we're ready. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. We are going to go right here. Scan for Dr. Garno. Everything working? Everything working. All right. Uh, we need to go go all the way here. I've been here before just to scan everything. There we go. And uh, there he is. Mahavid. Mahavid is a metallic asteroid in the very sparse Nahata belt. It has a high nickel and iron content in the form of camisite. The rights to mine Mahavid belongs to TGES Mineral Works, who sell their products primarily to the colonists of Arvuna. A close flyby reveals light emanating from its facility. Yeah, I see that. I was wondering what it was about. Garrus. We haven't taken James in a while. ED also would be interesting because she was with us at the beginning. Okay, let's let's take ED. Uh, she was uh, she was with us at the uh, the Citadel when we started all this. So I don't know. Maybe it would be cool to have her again. She has the arc pistol and the get plasma SMG. That's fine with me. Eight points. Additional target. Cause why not? Ah, oh, maybe I should have... I'm gonna take this one instead. Increase shield or decoy explodes on destruction closing... Yes. There we go. A better decoy. I really like her her suit like this. It looks good. I mean, from what I can see. Granted, we don't see much, but we're gonna see more. We're about five minutes out, Commander. Black Widow! What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Is there a clearer idea of what this Leviathan was? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. Oh, I should bring the but arrow. But it was Garneau, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Agreed. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. Just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper sure. enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Oh? Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. 
They're after Leviathan too. Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. <laughs> Take us in. So we're gonna combat some cannibals, probably. Maybe Harvester. Ooh, looks crazy. I like it. All right. Here we go. Oh, I love a cutscene like that. Don't go anywhere, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. I'm just here. Oh, they should have uh, thought of people like me who keep going back and stalling. <laughs> and stalling. It, it sounded weird when I said it. Scouting party. And it sounds like they brought some friends. Oh, goodness. That didn't work. Decoy, please. Um, armor piercing. Uh, incinerate. Energy drain. There's another one all the way over there. You incinerate. Me energy drain. There we go. Easy. Let's get Garneau before the serious troops arrive. The civilians inside aren't likely to be worried. <laughs> That looks insane. Ha, ah, that's so cool. There's a shield and the meteors just rebound on it. Look at that. Protected. That's really cool. It's like a, a kind of like a biotic shield, but like made from a, a synthetic component how can i explain this correctly it's not like an organic that is go doing this with a biotic shield it's just a biotic shield does that make sense i think maybe i'm mistaken no more bypass mini games i don't really miss them i'm gonna be honest <laughs> they were just really oh, that's Welcome crazy really Metal slow Works. and repetitive Sign in at reception. They're taking it pretty well, don't you think? Indoctrinated. <laughs> wow, that's creepy. Wow, that's creepy. Jesus. Commander Shepard of the Alliance, you just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. What the fuck? <laughs> that will be. Hello? Dude, the horror feel is really yes. cool. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? <sighs> Look. We don't have time to waste. I'm looking for a researcher, Dr. Garneau. It would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. 
We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The excess elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Bad vibe to these guys. <laughs> no, sir. want to push it. Just look around. Carefully. Dude, the horror feel is amazing. I love it. I think they're... Uh... He's living in the ducts. Where is he now? Safe. Locked Indoctrinated. Hurt us now. Dr. Trifon, your appeal is denied. Your resources are cut off and you've been reassigned. Clean out your office and report to Dr. Lan. There will be no further discussion on the matter. Excuse me. You don't belong here. I've had tungsten um, ammo in Mass Effect 1. In I remember. What you gonna do? Stop me? The test reportedly pushed the subject past his emotional breaking point. The subject is currently in catatonic state and being treated in the hospital. All further tests planned for this subject have been cancelled. Moving forward, a new screening process will be put in place to prevent similar delays. Living in the dark, Return subject. Back. Return to your ship, Commander. Or what? What you gonna Go. do? Uh huh. Ah! It's so fucking weird. I love it. Okay. Um. The people seem fearful. It is difficult to determine why. We need to fix that elevator. Repair terminal activated. I'll set the drone to repair the elevator, but we have to stay with it. for a Dr. Garneau. I don't know what you mean. Aren't you worried about the Reapers? We know nothing. Go away. Ah, it's so strange. Access granted. Garneau, Alex, Bragg, Stefan, Stephen, Trifon, Fiona. Past five, seven days. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows, eh? Uh-huh. The elevator security log said Garno came through here in the last week. Mm -hmm. Why are they lying about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. Who, who died? The doctor or like a Leviathan subject or what? Indoctrinated? If they, what I feel weird about is if they were indoctrinated by Reapers, they would have like attacked us already, no? Or they're like waiting for the an opportunity so i think it's not it i don't think it's an indoctrination like we know of like a reaper but maybe um, a leviathan has also indoctrination or something i don't know after comparing the stomach contents of varan from eight different regions we must reevaluate our current understanding of their feeding practices Look into 
security terminal. A level 5 passcode is required for access. I don't have one. Access denied. Okay. All right. Could go there. But I haven't been the other way first. Even estimating 60 days for complete global starvation is the merciful realm. Absolutely. That's the data to use. Note to staff, this new crossbreed appears harmless and would be inconspicuous in an office environment. However, it is exceedingly dangerous. Use extreme caution when working with all third generation plants. Oh no. I see a trend among the miners. They appear to be doing everything but mining. I'm thinking maybe it's a resurgence of the Oh my god, me with names. Um Thor, the Thor, the, the, oh my goodness, the plant in Mass Effect 1. I forgot the f fucking name, which Yala. Why, why am I having a blank right now? The, 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 the Thor, Amy 1, Torian, Torian, the Torian, I'm thinking. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I was there, I was there. I was not far. <laughs> I'm really bad with names. They, they they get out instantly of my head. Is it is it a Turian Tor Tor not Turian Thorian situation? What's going on? Turn back. You shouldn't be here. But it was different. People that were under the Thorian um, influence were still kind of like themselves it's just that they were in deep deep pain when they tried to help me uh so it doesn't look like this have you seen dr garno you shouldn't be here evolutionary implications of human biotics strange thing to be studying And whatever they were mining for, which is like apparently tung tungs tungsten. But there's something maybe under that does not want to be discovered, so they are it it is like spreading spores like the Torian or indoctrinating and to to keep them away. You know? Stop mining. I don't wanna be found. Something like that? I don't know. To whoever is moving my stuff. Some of the data I've been compiling on how historical weather events affect how our government has gone missing. If you moved it, please return it. It is a combination of years of research. If you need me to help you find space for your project, just ask. I'd be happy to help, Tannis. Why are they doing research on literally every species? Vorcha. Um, and then we had... Uh, Hanar, right now. Turn back. Asari, human. You know, biotic. Asari. No, it was just biotic. It was not necessarily. Yeah. This is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. I don't have that. Access denied. This is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. I don't have that. Access denied. Okay. Everybody is really fucking weird. Ah, oh, the way they all look at me when I enter. The way they just follow you with their si their eyes, like they never turn their back on you. The way they just... Oh lord, that's so fucking creepy, I love it. TGS Mineral Works has an eye on the future. Cutting-edge 
research drives us forward. Smart minds, smart business. Primary research interests include improving extraction practices and enhancing product quality. They're not doing that at all, though. Due to an increase in electrical storm activity, communications with the beta site research team have been delayed. We ask all those awaiting the data to be to please be patient. Current forecasts indicate that the storms will disappear by the end of the week. Regular communication will resume at this point. Here's enough point. So yeah, a Reaper artifact or something like that. Uh, and now there, and it said, "Hey, stop! Stop searching for me." Personal review, Brown Jeremy. Personal ID. Oh, there we go. We can use that. Sector E maintenance. Since applying recent feedback, your work has shown a vast improvement. Your work with the corrupted skin samples we acquired was impressive. You are being given a promotion and a raise in a security access level. Thank you for your hard work. This review is confidential. Employees are encouraged not to leave reviews in view of others. Personnel ID. Huh. Mm -hmm. Turn back, Commander. They all know I'm commander. It's just... It screams hive mind. This is a restricted area. An active patient file number is required. Okay. I don't have that. Access denied. It's so fucking weird. I love it. Hey Shepard, I think we just passed the security no, terminal. No, I know, but I want to go there. This is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. ID 231-95. Access granted. Thank you. The quality of the ore samples from Sector 4 are tapering off. As of la la la, that area will begin the commissioning procedures. Head of Mining Operation Del Clausmere. <gasps> Pistol Ultra Light Materials 2? Are you kidding? I'm so happy right now. Andrea, I miss you. Why won't you return my emails? Your mother is very ill and needs to see you. I love you. Come home soon, Dad. I'm so happy I got it. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Suddenly, my powers are much more... recharged much faster. <laughs> For sure. Punch in Garno's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. They're gonna attack us sooner or later, like... The ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. <sighs> Unknown male 
was involved in an altercation in the mines. Enemy Carter public number one. <laughs> Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to yeah. authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I have the file number. Let's go get Gar now. Easy. Gonna try to stop me though. Can't imagine they won't. Huh. This is a restricted area. An active patient file number is required. File seven three six four. Access granted. Oh, the slow walk. Damn, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was hypnotized. <laughs> I love, 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 love missions that are that are eerie like that. Is and that Garneau? Just have a different feel from the rest of the game. If it is, we came a long way for nothing. <sighs> if you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. It's him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. I don't want to get him out. Whatever's going on here, I need you to focus. Of course, Commander. He's weird. I need you to tell me everything you've found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. But what about the artifact you mentioned in your message? I did? No. Yes, Doctor, you did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? <gasps> Doctor! Leave the artifact. I don't believe we are speaking to Garneau. You! You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring only death. That voice was insane. Uh, so is it Leviathan that doesn't want to be found? You know? Oh my god. Someone has cut the power. There he goes. Leave this place. Wait! All we need right. to get to that artifact before he does. He said it was in the mines. We'll need to find a different route. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't see. <gasps> Garno's notes gave us a nav point for the artifact. Map shows a service door at the next tram station. No! The only ones headed that way. I, I knew I it. I a pattern. Despite the law of averages, we never find the Reapers moving in a direction away from us.
There he goes. Oh my god. Um Uh That's Garrus. <laughs> thinking hmm oh goodness we're too far right now uh, okay this one is closer let me see We need ammo. Let me go here. There we go. Let me take this. Oh! Reaper Blaster. What is that? There's the door. Okay, let's find that artifact. It's the new launcher. Turns out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was insane. Wow. This is fun. Looks like the door's power supply's been cut. There are the trouble spots. The drone can repair it. 
We'll need to escort it. Mm. Unfortunately, the drone is damaged and is on reserve power. Let's make it quick then. Sit close to the drone. Got it. Come on. goodness I'm I hear you I'm on it oh my goodness okay The, the sound in the right ear was something else, like the static thing. Oh, that was cool. Understood. Come on, guys. Jesus. Ooh. I think I'll keep my current effects for now. This is fun. I like it. The darkness can't be 
that artifact, it's... Like in Bryson's office. Move! I got a shot! Turn back! Or no! Leviathan. Shepard, over here. What have you got? That was not Garno. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. Hmm. So Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data, and a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Anne Bryson. And Bryson. Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. You all right? I think so. I feel like... Yeah, now they're out of the indoctrination, I strange, kind of. But... All right. That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... You tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh... Remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling... That's exactly what I felt. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. If these people have been out of it for that long, they're in for a shock. <laughs> That's why the uh... It now seems Leviathan not only has the power to destroy a Reaper, but possesses an indoctrination yep. ability. Do you think it actually is a Reaper? That's why the data pad was uh, dating to like 2175 or 76. I think it was 75. Because after that they just stopped. They just they were just protecting the artifact basically, so the artifact is a leviathan artifact and it has indoctrination capabilities and then the reaper were aware that it existed so they tried to get it they were actually trying right now i guess <laughs> if it is a reaper then i want to know what it's up to there was How just long has it, been out it was here? just More protecting itself why? for 10 years Edie, did we get anything from garno's notes yes they suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. Whatever they are, they're too dangerous to have around. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. Dude. Will Joker say anything about that? Commander? No, okay. All 
Artifact in Dr. Bryson's office is tied to Leviathan. Return to Bryson's lab and investigate the artifact. Let's go. Let's do that. Hmm. So, so far, what we think we know, because it's not sure, it's that Leviathan could be a natural predator to the reaper because it could have the power to destroy a reaper it might be old we think it's old right look at secret artifact oh okay okay that's for uh tessia we also know that the reapers always use each cycle they always use the most dominant species not even the most dominant species they just use the species to create new types of reapers so did they use my question is they might have used the Leviathan indoctrination power to assimilate that, kind of. It's it seems we need to shield a bit the different artifact though. They've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Things been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. Like a Reaper. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Ryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself. Yep. Diverting people away from its trail. Yeah, it was definitely Maybe. that. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite That's the risk, true. this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Energy emission tests, Hadley direct, initial test, artifact test negative for infrared and ultraviolet emissions, no gamma or x-ray radiations detected. Follow-up test, artifact does not react to application of various stimuli, internal readings inconclusive, no progress in determining age. Guess I stayed here all night finding out this thing isn't really important, fell asleep at desk. Conclusion, artifact is definitely inert and safe. Recommended. I uh, recommend keeping it here for reference. We should be all near it. Maybe more useful than Leviathan in long run. Recommend we abandon hunt for Leviathan and seek more productive studies. <laughs> okay. So uh, it had already begun its uh, indoctrination at that point of the conclusion. Oh, yeah, it's inert and safe and uh, we should keep it here and be near it. But stop studying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were testing the artifact for energy emissions. And found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. I think they found something. But the Leviathan artifact was like, no, you don't. Leave me alone. Anything interesting about the artifact's structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, Nothing of relevance. Okay. Bryson's assistant Hadley. Do we have an update on his status? He is in a vegetative state. The doctors believe it is permanent. But the miners recovered when the artifact was destroyed. Hadley lost consciousness when he attempted to answer our questions about Leviathan. It may have been a deliberate attempt to silence him permanently.
Edie, what project was Garneau working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything oh. on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. Hmm. Oh. Then, no. It's okay. There's got to be something here on this artifact. <laughs> what about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarab paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garneau on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the Nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Project Basilisk and Project Scarab. MSV Kirkwall and MSV Icarus. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. There are specifications for several ships here. We need to find the Icarus. Which ship am I looking for again? The Icarus. The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system? Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay, we can rule out the relay system. Hmm. The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. Hmm. What about criminal activity in the Pylos Nebula? Because the area is part of the Attica Traverse, criminal reports are unreliable at best. Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Let me go outside, just making sure that I'm not missing anything. Oh, be social and materials three! Oh my goodness, I should have done this DLC way before. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Can you identify this, Edie? It's a reaper. It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. Is it not a reaper? Okay, she meant like the the picture itself. There's a data pad there, but oh, nice. Thank you. I needed a shower. Need a shower, Edie. Uh, 
Do I need anything else? I don't think I do. Okay. So we have the locker we can open. Right here. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Okay, I thought it was a corpse. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> Didn't take breathing masks. Water recycling equipment. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Okay, so we have two filters available. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Ann Bryson. Nice. I like this, it's fun. It's like clues and a little scary, creepy lore info I'm guessing that we're getting. I don't know. Feels, uh, feels interesting to me. Uh, no messages. Commanda. We're going to find her at Pil Pylos Nebula. <laughs> I cannot with the music. There we go. We gotta scan everything around there. something it's all good <laughs> it's all good Jovian dissertation faster than light jump successful where is the other one aha found it Evasion successful. I'm gonna wait. It's a wreckage site. Wre wreckage fuel thing. Signal confirmed. Nice. Probe launched. She doesn't see it in the game. In this game. It's huge around here, oh my lord. I really can't find it. Yeah. I don't know where it is. The last... Uh... Don't know. Can't find it. Ah! Reapers eluded. It's just a wreckage, probably, but still. I found something. Aha! We found everything now. Namakli, an arid but habitable planet. Namakli was briefly colonized by the Pyrena Corporations, a consortium of Asari colonists and socialized Vorcha laborers, after an economic downturn. 
However, many Asari left the planet and the Vorcha population kept growing to the point where they bred faster than they could be educated. Soon they turned violent and uncontrollable and the colonies essentially self-destructed. Today Namakli is a wasteland with little population, but Vorcha packs are scattered across the desert. Settlers frequently run into these packs, discouraging recolonization. The lack of complex biota and scarcity of profitable metals drove the last few proverbial nails into Namakli's coffin. No one has stepped forth in the past few years with the will, the funding, or the firepower to establish a permanent colony. Aha! Uh -huh. Can we go? Search the sex folds. Scans have located a close grouping of environmentally shielded habitats and an active power source. Closer examination is required to confirm dig site. Presence. We have located Anne Bryson's dig site. Let's go. It's a dig site. I gotta bring the arrow. Come on now. Sixty-two. Let's go! Because we have three now. I'm so happy. <laughs> also, sniper rifle, ultralight materials. We need uh, We need better than that. So maybe, wait. Maybe now I could put... This instead. Thirty-nine. We can try. I haven't tried the um, enhancement aim enhance main aim for a brief time. Speeds perception. Assisting aim. Do I want to be assisted though? It's kind of easy, no? I don't know. I'm like, uh It's kind of too easy. <laughs> 20? Detonate? I'm sorry. Bonus power. Recharge speed. There we go. So we got reports of an attack on an excavation site. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a I should bring Javik next time. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll find? Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. I wonder if Javik would have anything to say for Leviathan and stuff. Maybe I could bring we in next hostile. time instead of Garrus or something. Take us in! Commander, on the landing platform! That's her! Okay, let's get... This. Not fucking Orvesters, I swear. Get us over there! Negative, it's too hot! Head into lower hate, platform, hate, hang hate on! Hate them! There, go! Oh lord. Jump! They were better when they were organics on Tuchanka, right? It was those, right? We can't stay here, Shepard. This... <sighs> Isn't a dig site. It's a war zone. 
Move! She's somewhere above us! Hello? Is anyone there? I'm coming down! No! Stay where you are! This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy! It's too dangerous! Yep. We'll come to you! It's way yes, too intense. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy um... that! We're on our way! Wait a minute. Should I go there instead? Ah! You scared me! Jesus. Okay, it doesn't change anything. They're here! Oh, Lord. Okay. Commander, they're swarming everywhere up here. Can you find a place to hide? I'll try. Get there. Stay put. Are you serious right now? I see the difference. After I shoot, it's like slowed down. Interesting, interesting. That's a shotgun? Pretty... Uh, we're, we're, no, no. We're not taking that, guys. We're not taking that, but pretty good, though. Uh, wait. We're here. Can't go. Oh, there we go. Looks like a bridge over there. Interesting. As we saw to already. Right away. Some wires are short. It shouldn't take much to fix it. Give me a sec. Done. Raising the bridge now. Got it. A uh, banshee? Are you serious right now? Uh, let me think. Move. At Get least they're slow. Far. 
so there's that. of hardcore parkour. Before exploding that, uh... does that help? Yeah, go here. Who else? No, no one. 
hadn't seen this one before it was too late. You seem to be venerating, venerating this, I think. I thought they were attacking at first, but it doesn't seem to be attacking this. Like... They seem to be like, huh? Oh. Hmm. Definitely looks like a reaper to me. like that explosion <laughs> take this I need ammo okay lots of explosible everywhere explosives I mean I'm not talking at all. <gasps> Level up! Let us see. Five points. Level 59. Hmm. We need six for this. maybe four Double opponents already lifted by biotics for a damage bonus and weaken the armor of ground and targets more weapon damage. Okay, so. Gimme. Thank you. <laughs> I want it. Elevators online. 
coming up. Uh, maybe I should change energy drain is not bad, but maybe I should uh, should change for one of the um Oh shit, he's dead. One of the Omega He tried to run. <laughs> I told him not to, but he wanted Aria's to help the powers. Others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh god. Yes, of course. She's gonna die, I have a feeling, oh my lord. We won't be able to have answers. I uh, was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Shepard, look. Yeah, I've been... I've been watching that. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. Oh. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! Oh, Lord. What are they doing? They've activated this. I've never managed anything. <gasps> Doctor! Shit, shit, shit. They've learned to uh, the darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Got it. You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle? You run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. Jesus. Oh, fuck. We need to get rid of that harvester. We'll bring it down. Oh, no.
So loud. Is it just me? Goodness. You okay? I feel broken. Yeah, Commander. I, <laughs> I think so. I blacked out. Gonna have to edit that Leviathan out. Leviathan took control I mean, of you. We kept the connection the before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first, Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers, never went back to dark space, like a rogue or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Jesus. Your father is dead. I'm sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation and meet you there. Jesus. Unread messages? Oh we are. Lee Riley, Commander, my squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on Sion. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. We will hold the line. Captain Lee Riley. Hold the line! Commander. So... Those pictures we've been seeing... They are Leviathan, like a species, Leviathan, is what I understand, and they look exactly like a Reaper. So maybe the Reapers, how we know them at least, they took the Leviathan DNA and made uh, their new generation I know I don't need it but I'll take it anyway just so that we're 100% everywhere oh I kind of needed it it's fine they took DNA of Leviathan way back like way before proteins and everything took that became what we know or were created in their image or they're all the same like leviathan reaper same thing but no because a leviathan destroyed a reaper is what we understood could be like a predator so so yeah is it like their creator 
like a species that that because reapers have been created there's no way and i've been saying that since mass, mass effect one there's no way that a reaper just has always been it's a synthetic there is an organic someday that decided to make a synthetic just like the quarians did with the geth and they messed up they played god messed up and created reapers and the reapers was like oh I'm intelligent now. I'm an AI. I'm not just a VI. I am my own species. And I'm taking over. And uh, just like Skynet, you know, in Terminator. It's the same thing. I'm taking over. Or, you know, like in iRobot with Will Smith, the movie. Or I think it's a book as well. Just like that. Like, oh, yeah. To protect you of yourself, I need to take over and wipe you out. Like... Or I just need to take over. Something it feels like that, right? Reapers feel feel like that. So I'm thinking there must be a creator. They said no in Mass Effect 1, and I was like, shut up, there's no way. There's no way. So is Leviathan a, like really just a, a species that they came across, just like they did with the Proteans and then made collectors out of it? Or it's more than just that, you know, it's the creator or something, like like the Quarian to the Geth. That's basically my my um, thought process right now, but I, I don't know what's the answer. But that's where I am at, like what I understand from all this. Because it's way back, it's paintings and shit on walls, like in caves. You know, it's way back, way back, like, fucking old shit, you know? It's an old species. As old as Reapers or more. And having the same indoctrination method, or at least similar to it. To Reapers, I mean. So, like... Did the Reapers come across them and just mold their AI to it? Or is it more than just that? Like, that's 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 why where I'm getting at right now. I don't Hello. know. Hello. She's crying. Anne? You here? Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... Yeah. This is hard. Of course. You alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An mm. argument? Yes. It was... Reveal. That's sad when that happens. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. I took it out on him. It's so stupid. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man, a pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes he was so full of stories. He nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. Get in. What chance. kind of answer? <laughs> You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. 
When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. And it keeps saying the darkness cannot be breached. And didn't they say, the Reapers, didn't they say we will come out of the edge of the galaxy from the from the darkness we will come out in as legion I, I don't remember exactly the monologue obviously but uh they are basically waiting in the dark space like the darkness of space every cycle they're waiting and then they sense that they they, they need to wipe uh, an entire species out or multiple and then they, they come out of that right so is that what they mean by the darkness can shouldn't be breached like just cast them in into the dark space and never make them come back or something or leave us alone don't like don't reach us if we could reach the whole fleet you know i don't know I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper he was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a arachnid drone waiting for orders from the Queen. I mean, I wouldn't say that. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. Hmm. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. Hmm. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Hmm. Whatever hmm. Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Similar with the Reapers. Thorian is a bit different. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact, but the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. Hmm. My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes. Hey, Commander. James. Need a hand? As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan what doesn't bother fuck? communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. The husk looking. Okay, why, why is he here? Why is he here? Commander, you see this thing? This is great! Hey, Edie, husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or, I don't know, whatever. Gonna bring him into your uh, your space on the Normandy. Deliver this to your cabin? Sure. 
All right. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> nice. You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? <laughs> My God. And I know this That's is hard. So stupid. But if there's anything more you can tell us, I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? Oh, cr the artifact <laughs> only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. I kind of want to see Warda shot, but it is risky. Warda shot, we can't just like shield. It, but we're out of options. You know better than I do what Leviathan's capable of when threatened. I know it's a long shot, but I have to do this. We can shield again. You're right? looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. A feel of chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain Dios. connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Up. Uh. uh. Man. Shit. I was unsure. I was unsure because I was like, if I press R2, I'm gonna hit the shield. I wanted to continue. Fuck. Anne. Anne, are you alright? Yes. I think so. I was confused on what anything? R2 would do. Yes, but it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the normal. Okay, I guess it doesn't make a difference. Good. To start. Commander. I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. Okay, I should get away from her. There is only the harvest. So, it said you brought them, you're a threat. So it is afraid of reapers. So it is like proteans. It's a species that were attacked by reapers. in like the AI form before they had those bodies that they have now because they definitely took those bodies that they have now as a uh, blueprint from a Leviathan because Leviathans look exactly like Reapers. So Leviathan exists, Reaper exists in a different form, Reaper starts harvesting, 
decides to take Leviathan body, DNA, and maybe indoctrination powers, and wipes them out almost completely, and then start another cycle, like I don't know how many years later, for proteins and such. Commander. So is it in my cabin now? Wait, let me go see. Also, I have an eel now. Hey, yo. A Karshan eel. Oh, Lord, it's here. <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> God. Very interesting. Well, no more information. I feel like on the Reapers, like the the past, or maybe how they came to be, something like that. We're gonna have more info, which is very cool, very interesting. Unsuccessful. Scans of the planet surface show no evidence of Leviathan's energy signature. Continue. No search. sign of Leviathan at these coordinates. That's fine. Psy Toffet. Let's try. I found something. Launching probe. Search successful. Scans reveal a faint trace of the light and energy signature. Closer examination required to confirmation. Ooh. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Okay. Uh, let me just 100%. Okay. We got 100% there. I just want to do. Oh, I should have done it after. I will have trouble going back. Signal confirmed. <laughs> Give me a wreckage, please, after. What is this? Extra? <gasps> really? Is it at for. Oh, we yeah, are 100%. Is it at for. Uh, Faster than light jump successful. For. Uh, quarry? I'm not gonna make it. For Aquarians and Tyrians. Ah, oh, that's so stupid, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I know there's a fuel depot there. Yeah, I should have done it after. I'm so dumb. So Let's go back. 100% beesh! We're gonna 100% this game, I think. <laughs> Almost. 2181 this coin. This pad was only spotted recently by human space probes. No rec records indicate it has been explored. 
Scans indicate it is covered in an ocean of liquid water and has a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere. It is highly likely to have at least some photosynthetic life. We can put the flag. The Canadian flag. <laughs> I want to bring Javik. I think that could be interesting. And Liara? Edie? Garrus? <laughs> Who? Yara. Ah! Uh, Edie. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to choose. And now we're gonna have like super difficult fights and I'm gonna die over and over because I won't have Garrus. Is what is gonna happen, isn't it? Have a feeling. <laughs> Should I? Instead of damage, we'll try with accuracy a bit, uh, a bit higher like that. Let's try that. Yeah, four. I never use defense metrics. I'm gonna be honest, like never. Recharge speed. Thank you. There we go. Are we going to have some answers? Maybe? Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given the circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice, we're here. Hmm. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. We're not making friends. Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. What? Is it underwater? Uh, I, show I was just of saying. Floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal You're below. You're kidding there. me. Way below. Underwater. Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Are you fucking kidding? No. It's possible. The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status. Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! I was just saying, don't tell me it's underwater. This is my only other fear, guys, except from space, space, and deep water. Please don't do this to me. Please. Everyone alright? This is cool, though. Far worse, Commander. How's the shuttle, Cortez? It looks amazing. I'll see if I can get power restored. I thought I could go. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. Yeah. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. This is a place of death. Those ships look like they've been drifting for years. Is it always tore me around here? What's going on? 
Wait, what are you equipped with? Yeah, that's good. Oh my goodness, looks crazy. a big fight there is no way one of those artifacts explains why no one gets out of here okay i'm not ready oh my Look, god there's so many there. reapers commander they were right behind us protect the shuttle wait wait i didn't read i didn't I didn't have time! Oh, give me that. Thank you. Um... I'm sorry. Cortez! Situation! Swapping out the parts, Commander! Hang on! What is it? What, what? Where? What the fuck? Uh, behind? Oh, okay. First time we die today. Protect the shuttle. So what if I do this? What happens then? I don't know.
What is that? It ain't good. Development. So Dr. N is not doing good or something? Dr. Bryson, I mean. I didn't grab everything. There we go. Data pad log, Edon Brooks, the hull will hold, that's what they say. Whatever God watches over, ESO prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle, what downed us in the first place? Conscious says it wasn't lightning, it was some kind of pulse. Directed energy weapon seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic, the whole bloody ocean is silent. Tonight the techs are going to try to reroute, rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. Any idea how old these are? Old enough not to stink. enough not to sting, dude. Shen Kanshan. Attempts to get airborne have failed every time. The damage done by the pulses, if you could call it damage, doesn't make uh, physical sense. The connections are fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. Keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapon to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I were an optimist. Did 
The rations will hold us two days more. Brooke sent a drone to the bottom and it came with bio bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I want the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but the Romero and Mullins tried it anyway. They haven't stopped vomiting and their dehydration wastes fresh water. We sent Kanchan team on a raft over the wrecks. They came back with spears, some kind of organic-based alien technology. And nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers, but if they have been helped to other ships figure out what happened, they wouldn't be here now with day. It's getting cold. It's getting cold, it's getting chilly. It's getting... it's getting indoctrinated. <laughs> Damn. I missed uh, another one, I think. Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kanchan and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They showed no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I am no longer in control. I held the funeral to keep order. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He will be tethered in the water to attract scavenging animals that will be catched for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of these planet days, we cut him loose as a water burial. We seal the tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. Use the body as... I mean, why not attract food? Yeah, sure. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Goodness. The captain gets it now. He tried to lock himself in the ship, screaming that he had to fix it. We were gentle, one person for each limb. We let him rest on the sphere. Sometime in the middle of the night he came around and now he agrees. We won't leave. Why would we? I think this will be my last entry. Everyone here understands me. If anyone finds us, they might feel differently, but that can be fixed in time. So good not being hungry anymore. They just starve to death. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Give me that. I could say another uh, upgrade there, but uh, I'll just come here. See if I missed anything. Very eerie, like scary too. <gasps> oh, thank God, Bizzle Drive. Four. I'm so happy. They were all in this DLC. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Okay. I did not have that. Um. Cortez. Yeah. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. Mm. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find right, it. girl. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Are you fucking kidding me? A diving mech? No. It's a Triton model. I don't. Military grade, repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater has a corroded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, Game. let's get started. Shepard, there's perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. 
They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the how shuttle about, and use how those about you go, Gorgeous? Hang on, I'll get you started. I got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Just pick it up and use my powers. <laughs> another power cell for you, Commander. The enemy is persistent. Get another power cell, Commander. We'll hold them off. Good in midair, too. Wait, there's one here. Okay. of all these enemies I'm guessing it's like saying come on come on come here but I can't what what am I supposed to do ah! guys
serious right now? Oh my god. I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. I do not want to do that. I really do not. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Commander. Risk is rarely a hindrance. This plan, uh, even I would hesitate. Uh, We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals it's check true. out. Oxygen there is no other way. Nominal. But systems are a go. Does it have to be me? It's as ready as I can make it. <laughs> I'm not ready. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. <laughs> Commencing dive in three, two, one. With a freaking broken mech, there's no way it doesn't get in. The water, I mean. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! I do not like this, guys. I do not like this. Fishes. They're cute. Okay, that's fine. The pressure would be way too much, guys. It's, this is ridiculous. But okay, I'll 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 bite because it's a game. Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. The pressure, guys, look at that. 4,000 something. 3,000 meters in, like, there's no way. There's no way this suit would actually survive. That. This is really beautiful, though, I gotta say. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. For a way down. <clears throat> Shutting down all non critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Okay, those are cute. Those are cute. I'm fine with that. Oh my lord. Getting some strange readings from the probe. He's definitely down there. Oh god. <clears throat> Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. I feel like in the uh, Returnal with the water level. It's exactly like this. <laughs> Can't see anything just yet. There's a big light. Is it the probe or it's something else? <gasps> Jesus. 
us. Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. This is great. It's amazing. Don't get me wrong. What is I'm, that? I'm just really scared. Something big with pressurized. It was an actual reaper. What the fuck? I didn't know Commander Shepard thought that. Oh, what the fuck? Anne? What's happening? Your memories give voice to our words. Your nature will be revealed to us. Accept this. I didn't know Commander Shepard thought... Okay, wait. I did not understand it like that at all. They thought Leviathan was a Reaper? Like a name of a Reaper? <laughs> okay. No, I never thought that. What the... I think it... I think I shouldn't have played the first, 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 first part like so long ago because I completely forgot if they mentioned it like that. That is not how I understood this whole thing. I understood it like it is it is a predator it is another type of species like it's something else and then i saw it it looked like a reaper and i was like what the fuck what okay i am i am confused right now the galaxy's at war with the reapers you defeated one why aren't you fighting back there is no war there is only the harvest so they were harvested just like protians no one have possessed the strength in past cycles your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat. Oh yeah, they do. And I must understand why. like Routians were. The lesser species were in our fall serving our needs. Mm -hmm. We grew more powerful mm -hmm. than we cared for, but we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Mm. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any the cost. The Reapers. There we go. The we found the creators. That's what I was thinking. It studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first Reaper was created. Exactly. You all it. Harbinger. 
Okay. There we that's what I was thinking the whole time. I have no idea Commander Shepard and I were not on the same wavelength. <laughs> we really were not. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Obviously. With all the paintings we saw. No, like yeah, it makes sense to me. I've been seeing that since Man Mass Effect 1. There is no way nothing created the Reapers like. The Reapers are like no, we are eternal. We've always been here. Shut up. You're not. You're an AI. Like, someone created you. Who created you? And they were like, this discussion is over. <laughs> In Mass Effect 1, I remember that. Anonymous, hello? You're not even alive. <laughs> not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Yep. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is... <laughs> Oh, did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> this exchange is over. When I say Commander, it's over. <laughs> so Leviathan, well, like, I don't know if they're called that. The way they look is exactly like a Reaper, so it makes sense that a Reaper decided to use that body and merge it with synthetics and use the indoctrination process from that for organics because they can control s synthetics well since they are an AI but controlling organics was harder especially with their creator being able to control organics with their mind right so they took that DNA took that indoctrination power that's that what I've been thinking despite what you saw the other races experience Conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. Just we like Protean. The concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Yeah. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. And you're under the water. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. Mm. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. the intelligence defeat you to find a solution it required information physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos it created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy gathering this data there was no warning no reason given when they turned against us only slaughter only the harvest what do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Okay, it's all the that's hard. Tribe still fell victim to the harvest. Oh, they've been watching from the it's sidelines. Is Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Uh -huh. Each reaper has the power to influence organics. Uh -huh. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. Oh my lord. How old are fucking you, dude? <laughs> because we've seen how many actual reapers there is. Like, 
a hundreds, maybe thousands. So hundreds or thousands of cycles have already been done. That's what it means. That's enormous. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation. It's like a robot. Is, that's what I've been seeing. <laughs> Wow. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution, it's true. Holy Will shit. It ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait. The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. You will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. earned it. Out there fighting where you should be. Huh. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. No victories are more than a product of chance. I'm shocked right now. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become Slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. Uh, yay, I guess? I'm not sure. I don't like this species at all. I am scared of them. They are heckin' scary. They are worse than the Proteans. They are worse than Javik. No kidding. Okay, what would they do?
Commander, wake up. She's freezing. <laughs> of course, I was indoctrinated, kind of. So can we actually right? use that? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. Can we use that way of... I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. ...of Good. communicating? Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? Can we use that power? Harness it in the crucible and be able to like control the reapers and tell them to kill each other or something. E yes it was. It was? We exposed it, pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's part of this war now. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Amazing. Under pressure. Push it down on me. Commander, I finished reading your report. You. Na, na, na. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be Big studying time. it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. <laughs> It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Yeah. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Tachanka, the Asari. Essentially, nothing was known of the aquatic species dubbed Leviathans before Commander Shepard reports to Task Force Aurora. No record of their species' true name exists, no ruins are attributed to their civilization, and no influence on other races have been recorded. The task force can only conjecture based on the limited information provided by Shepard. Their current world is unlikely their own world, so it's surmised that the Leviathans master technology in space flight despite their immense size and aqua aquatic nature. Their ability to communicate with and mentally dominate land-based sapiens would have been a necessary step, and so whatever homeworld the Leviathans hail from would have included a thrall species whose civilization served their purposes. Presumably their bodies can withstand both the extreme pressure of the deaths and lesser pressure of a coastal area where they might come into contact with these thralls. Transporting a creature the size of Leviathan into space would have been a significant engineering challenge. It is likely they used EZO for ease of travel, as the Hanar do, and employed cybernetic filtration to breathe air as well as oxygenated water. It is unknown if the Leviathans have modified themselves with the equivalent of a biotic amplifier, but it seems probable. The faster than light communication of their pulses would require precise control previously unknown to modern science. One can only guess at the innovations of this species, and the Leviathans are volunteering no such information. Dominate. So I can make one attack another. What's my war asset at? I don't know what it means, but it's full. <laughs> it's all that matters. 
Let's fucking go! It's full! <sighs> A mixed species team of special operations soldiers have volunteered to covertly deliver Leviathan artifacts behind enemy lines. These attacks aim to make Reaper creature thralls, creatures thralls of the Leviathans. On a small scale, this could cause chaos and disruption. On a large scale, even if given enough time, it could form an army of Reaper creatures dedicated to exterminating their own kind. The team's major limit factors are the small number of artifacts and the reluctance of aliens commanders to operate openly with such a potent weapon to fear the reapers might develop a countermeasure for me what scares me is that okay like we get rid of of the reapers let's say but we allowed the leviathan to be to use its indoctrination method and now, what stops them from making us slaves to them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Blonda. I don't like that idea at all. That was really cool. That's a DLC? Commander. That's an actual... So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. No, they didn't. That suggests they are fallible, even on large or long-term scales. What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted on the cosmological horizon. However, the holographic consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus, I am able to theorize the true nature of existence but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay, bad question. Hello, Shepard. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I am shocked. I'm shocked. I'm just saying. I'm... I mean, I... It, that, that was such a cool DLC because... It gives so much lore information that we did not have previously. And war assets. And I feel like it it was easy, quite easy to follow and understand as it went and piece the things together. You guys know that's my favorite thing to do. I love theorizing. I love reading about the, the world the world building such uh, things in the codex you know I, I love piecing things together that's i just love doing that i'm a thinker okay i love doing that and sometimes you get it wrong but in this dlc i mean i had many ideas but i was on the right track and i think it's because it was so well made that it made it possible for me to piece things together and make it make sense so that's big kudos to uh to the, the team, I think, because that was really, really interesting. And now I have even more questions and I'm even more scared of what could happen. This species opens so much. And I, and I was saying since Mass Effect 1, since the very beginning, when we first talked to Sovereign, I was like, there's no way that there isn't a creator of, of that fucking AI dude there's no way I'm so happy that they introduced that before we actually finish the games and it never gets answered like I'm happy it gets answered it would have been okay if it never got answered and it was just like this kind of like larger than life enemy villain type of thingy but I, I like when things make sense and this does for me I think that it does, honestly. Although I'm not sure how, like they said, it's an aquatic species, like really? Like how did they go in space, you know? I guess the Hunter also is, uh, is the same thing, but like, 
Where? <laughs> and and the reapers made the mass relays to speed the process of each cycle for harvesting. So what I'm thinking, I've been saying that it's like an iRobot, it's the same goddamn thing. It's or or a Skynet even. But more like iRobot, I would say. They want to preserve life. Reapers have been made as an AI to preserve life. The Leviathans were wanted to make a new form of intelligence that would help preserve life. And then they took that personally. <laughs> and then the Reapers took that personally and they were like, yeah, okay, we're gonna do that, yeah. But to do that, we have to almost kill all of you. That makes me think of uh, Rick Grimes in uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> There's this absolutely amazing, amazing quote. He says, I was thinking, how many of you do I need to kill to save you or something? I was thinking, how many of you do I have to kill to save your lives? It's, uh, I love that show. The Walking Dead is amazing. I mean, the last couple of seasons, not, not as much, but the rest is absolutely amazing masterpiece. But anyways, it's kind of like that for the Reapers, I think. It's like, okay, you're starting to become too intelligent and you're being too dangerous to yourselves. You're also creating AIs. You're creating get you're create like in this cycle it's get you're creating stuff like that you're using syn synthetic stuff you're traveling you're endangering yourself so i got to kill all of y'all or almost harvest because i need to always evolve i'm talking like as a reaper right i need to always evolve I need to always be ready, evolve, become better, so I can protect the galaxy from itself. So harvest the DNA, try to understand how they went to that point, restart everything, ground zero, sl sl clean slate, right? And then do it again and again and again. Every time a species rises, and starts being too intelligent, destroying itself because it's too intelligent. Kind of, kind of like humans right now on Earth. Like, I mean, it's it's a direct correlation. It's exactly that story. But it's it's as if it's as if right now in real life, Mother Nature was like, yeah, this is too much. You humans are killing each other because you're becoming bigger than what you were supposed to. Let me wipe almost all of you out then we'll we'll go back again we'll start again like it's 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 just like that that's how that's what i understand i wonder if there is a way to prove them that we're good i don't think so you know why because it's their whole reason to be alive they don't have another reason to exist their main purpose is that as an AI, I guess they are not, they are developed, but not enough to get away from their chains, synthetic chains, in a way. I, I, I feel different with the get for some reason, but although it's with a Reaper code, so I'm like, Ugh. will the get also think that? Like, oh, oh, Quarians, you, uh, you're, we need to wipe you out because you're, you're, you're endangering yourself. Like, will they do that too? Like, someday, you know? But I feel like, yeah, it's it's the Reaper's main purpose is that. So there's no way to convince them that their purpose is wrong. It's their main purpose for life. Like, if you take that away, they're gonna self-destruct. Like, they're gonna be like, okay, well, you don't need me. <laughs> like, so I think there's no way to res reason with them and be like, hey, we don't actually need to be wiped out, we're good. We can live all together. No, no worries. Like, 
don't look at too much at our history because I, I know we've done some shitty shit, you know, like we've done some genocides and stuff, but it's fine now. It's kind of fine now. <laughs> look at the Koreans and they get. Look at them. It's good. It's good, right? No? Okay. Like, I don't think we can we can reason with them by saying that. I think they'll, they'll just be like, no, shut up. We don't. We, we need to wipe you out. I, I don't know. That was so interesting. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love theorizing today. I did, did not expect such a deep DLC. I was putting it off. I was like, I don't know, like a predator for a reaper. What the fuck? Like I, another species? What, what is this about? Like I, I was, I did not expect such a deep dive. Literally, pun intended. That was cool. I, I, I appreciated it. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed too, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!